Hey there, fellow classic comic collectors. As always, I'm Scott Harris King, and today I'm here with another episode of The More You Know. Just something to keep an eye out for. A comic that you could find in those dollar bins that may not g grab your attention if you're not aware of it, but that's worth a little bit of money and has the potential to be worth a lot more money. This is going to be a short video because I'm just covering one single issue, and it is an issue of Flaming Carrot. Yes. Those of us of a particular age remember the, the, the I want to say golden age, but the copper age of comics. The 1980s when there was this big explosion of all these great indie titles. And there's a lot of really obscure books that are actually worth some money. One of the less obscure books is Flaming Carrot because it was actually a pretty big hit at the time. Uh, it had a number of different publishers, Renegade Press... Uh, and then Arvark Vanaheim, and I think it eventually ended up at Dark Horse. So uh, it l lasted almost or the entire decade, basically, 32, 33 issues, so, and it has a cult following, myself included. I don't have a complete run. I have most of the run. I think I have issues 10, uh, either 9 or 10 up to the end, and I think I might have one or two of the earlier issues. I made the mistake of passing on a first edition issue 1, few years ago for a very cheap price and uh, I don't think I'll see that again um, but that's not the issue we're here to talk about we're here to talk about issue 16 uh, Flaming Carrot Comics number 16 which you I think there's a chance it's out there um, because Flaming Carrot's not a title that people really think of when they think of as being worth any money fun read yes worth money no I mean why would it be worth any money uh, well of course uh, here's why it's because issue 16 of Flaming Carrot Comics is the first appearance of the Mystery Men. Yes, if you've ever seen the movie Mystery Men from the 90s, which is spoofing superhero comics, uh, a movie that was way ahead of its time, um, given all how popular superhero movies are now, that's a movie that I think would do great today. Um, in the 90s, uh, you know, it there were some superhero movies like Batman or whatever, but... Uh, they weren't nearly as prevalent. Um, so that that was a movie and a comic that was way ahead of its time. But that movie, The Mystery Men, is based on this comic and the next issue, 17, which also has The Mystery Men in it. And you can see here down the side, uh, it says on it, Tougher than the A-Team, newer than the new universe, not quite as good as the Watchmen. Here come The Mystery Men. And you've got The Shoveler up here. Um, you've got Mr. Furious. I'm highlighting those characters because they're, um, main characters in the movie. Of course, the shoveler in the movie is played by, uh, William H. Macy. And Mr. Furious is the main character played by Ben Stiller in the film. Um, interesting choice. <laughs> Very flaming character choice. The main issue is, uh, I cloned Hitler's feet. And, um, it's... <laughs> We could do a whole video about how cool Flaming Carrot is. It's, it's just, uh, if you've got a certain sense of humor, it's it's extremely fun comic. Um, but, again, it's the first appearance of the Mystery Men. One thing that's interesting about movie hype comics is that there's so much speculation about what might become popular that things that came out before the speculation age that actually are are popular or were popular somehow get left behind in the speculation you know people will pay like tons of money for comics hoping that they might the character might appear in something and if they do that might become popular and yet you can get stuff for like a fraction of that that is the first appearance or key issues about things that were already turned into movies and TV shows that have been extremely popular. And this is one of those cases where it's not like a super high ticket item. Uh, but again, it's worth more than you might expect. Because if you're going through dollar bins, um, it's pretty regular to find issues of Flaming Carrot. I got these for a dollar. I got a whole big run of these for a dollar each, um, which is why I originally why I bought them. Uh, but this issue here, the first appearance of uh, Mystery Men, I was just looking at it on eBay and this is a comic that uh, you can consistently see selling uh, for thirty to fifty dollars. Now my copy is not high grade. It's nice, 
but it does have a ding up here in the corner got crunched so it's got some some mess up there so this is probably like a 6 6.5 um 17 not worth as much but it does have a little bit of value because it's the second part with the mystery men i think it might introduce some more characters to the mystery men team here um but uh again just just a really cool comic with a with like a key first appearance that you might not be aware of you might not have even known was from the comics uh the mystery men movie but it is it was and uh, again, you can find these bouncing around. Um, if you're going through those dollar bins, keep an eye out for Flaming Carrot Comics number 16, first appearance of the Mystery Men. Um, and uh, if you do get that and decide you want to flip it for a nice profit, make sure you read it first because you may change your mind and decide to hold on to it. Um, it's just it's just a really cool uh, book, great movie, and. Um, yeah, I'm still kicking myself for for passing the, now the first appearance of Flaming Carrot, the first edition of Flaming Carrot Comics number one was limited to 6,500 copies. So obviously they're not easy to find, and I had one in my hands about six years ago uh, for twenty dollars, and I didn't buy it. And that's a book that you know is probably going to cost me a hundred if I can find one now. It's not an easy book to find. It is occult enough so that you know you can get this. It's like the print run is down there with with things like albedo number two or um teenage mutant ninja turtles uh but it's far more cult niche than those so you can still get it relatively cheap but jump on board the flaming carrot comics hype train and start with the mystery men and you can't go wrong so that's it for this time um let me know what you think about the movie mystery men about the comic version of mystery men about flaming carrot uh, and i um, curious to see what y'all think down below, and um, I'll see you next time.